This is the Standing Up to Pots podcast. I'm Jill Brooke, and today we are hearing from POTS specialist, Dr. David Saperstein. He is a neurologist at the Center for Complex Neurology in Phoenix, Arizona. I have a couple more symptoms to ask you about, but if we could maybe just go down this rabbit hole for a second, I do sometimes wonder what is different about the doctors like you who seem to really believe patients and take some flack probably from your colleagues versus the doctors who don't. Do you think that it's where you're trained or just your nature or anything? Or is it just what you said, noticing the same pattern so many times that you cannot deny it? Yeah, I think it's a combination of things. I definitely don't think it's where you're trained. A large part of the neurology training, because weird stuff can happen and you can see a patient having some sort of seizure-like episode or they're, they're not using their limb correctly. And, you know, as a non-neurologist, it can be unclear what's going on and they don't necessarily have the tools. And so neurologists are like, okay, well, based on this and this, this doesn't seem like they're truly paralyzed. And so then we assume that then it's psychogenic or something like that. And and so I, and I'm, you know, recovering <laughs> from that. And I, I used to think in that way. And then, you know, you realize that again, it's part of the picture. It's part of the the spectrum of problems that we see and, and we don't understand it, but there's there seems to be reasons for it. But to answer your question, I don't know why some people choose to take an interest in POTS and deal with a lot of POTS. And so, like I said, a lot of neurologists see it, a lot of physicians, cardiologists or other physicians or clinicians see it, but I think they're playing defense and they're just getting barraged by patients with a, with a lot of symptoms and it's hard to see the pattern. 